Hey everybody, welcome back to Deadliest Demolition. I'm not sure what I was going to say there, but I think I said the right thing. This is map six, cutting edge. And I am afraid, my friends. Okay, rockets there, switches here. Do I trust the switches or do I trust the rockets? Frankly, I don't trust either of them, but um... What choice do we have? Roar to you two. Oh, piss. That was a rocket, dude. Well, you know what? Let's make him work for... Oh, God. You need to go away. You know, I love how they just don't fire when, uh... It would actually benefit me. What kind of shot was that? Come on. Hmm. Oh, okay. I'm getting how this works. Okay. You know, it's funny. I, I was so afraid of those guys before, I never tried to really pick apart how they actually work. But yeah, it kind of looks like if they, uh, they do another check, like, when they aim the rocket launcher at you, that way you can't just go, like, here, wait for them to do that, and then, yeah, they'll just put it back down and start walking. Okay. Good to know. Hmm... You're giving me double plasmas. Oh. That was sneaky. I like it. <laughs> okay. I don't trust this guy. I don't like him. Alright. Nope. Is that the one that was behind the glass? Oh! <laughs> I mean, that worked. <laughs> hey, one of the... Yeah, okay, cool. That, that's good. That's good to see. I like it when the one that's the scariest of all ends up getting... I don't even know. All right. Up we go. Yay. <laughs> okay, that did... What? All right. <laughs> I guess it'll make sense when we actually get there. Uh, ooh. On Earth. Okay. Hmm. All right, so that kind of gives a view into an outdoor area. Not sure how to feel about that. I'm guessing at some point the ceiling raises. I don't know. Let's uh, let's just move on, shall we? Oh. Oh no 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 no. Okay. <laughs> That's ah. Come on. <laughs> Why you gotta do that, man? <laughs> All right. Oh man, I don't, I don't like this. There might be. Okay, I think the red skulls are down. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thwack. It's always really satisfying. I gotta say. Let's grab one of these. Just top ourselves off. Since we don't have any armor, that makes us ultra squishy. Hunting rifle. I mean. How scary are imps, really? Yeah, we're... Gonna go ahead and exp I hate the fact that one red skull took like two bits of splash damage, didn't die. <laughs> and then that one bastard gets like a max damage roll on me. It's not fair, I tell you. I think that is max damage for, uh, for a lost soul. 24? Yeah, I don't remember them off the top of my head. I know a few of them, but not that one. Can I... Oh. <laughs> And whoop. no, <laughs> not like that anyway. Yeah, it doesn't seem like that's doable. It's probably another way of getting in there, though. I mean, you're... wait, they, huh? Okay, that must have just been like a really weird, like, uh, pallet thing. Okay, <laughs> it kind of looked like there was maybe something that moved there. Wait, what's that? Right here. I guess it opens later. All right. Let's move on. Let's actually go up the stairs and not slide against the stairs. And ceiling went up. And SSG go... Beep beep. I don't know. What is this room? Maybe I should have started with this one. I don't, I don't know. I'm not an expert. 
I don't usually pretend to be. Ow. I just talk all authoritatively about things and hope that people trust me. Okay. I think most of the scary people have been taken care of. There you go. Ow! Dick. God, you know, it stings when you do that. Um, hmm, chain gun. Scary, scary chain gun. There's also something... Here-ish? I wonder if that just opens up later or something. I'm also liking that armor. So I think I'm going to go grab that. There we go. Excellent. And... Terrible things is this going to do to me? Nothing. Hmm... You know, I find this very difficult to believe. Let's go ahead and kaboom the barrels real quick. There's got to be more to this. I mean, there's a bunch of like little white lines and such that just don't seem to lead anywhere. When the heck would I open those or activate those or do something? Because I'm not seeing shootable switches or anything of the of the like. All right, well, you know, we made some... Oh, that was a lot of saves from map five. Holy moly. Let's go ahead and just clear it out, and here we go. What is up here, friends? Darkness. And something over there. Just a lot of these just very disconcerting white walls on the auto map. Chainsaw. Okay. Where? Pray tell? I don't know where they are. Um... This is getting scary. Oh! Invisible arch vials! This isn't Valiant. Well, at least they have, like, no health. That's kind of nice. Well, I mean, that one literally self-terminated. <laughs> So, uh, that's the thing, I guess. Oh. Hello. We're gonna try to get the jump on something, but... Eh. I just think I can just go to more conventional weaponry. There we go. Peace off. At least I still have uh, some semblance of armor. I mean, I probably should be using the chainsaw against, like, the Kakas at least, because... I, I mean, it is... really kind of overpowered. Like, I, I legitimately do think, because, I mean, you know my misgivings about the chainsaw. How was that? No, oh, more of those weird noises. Anyway, you know my misgivings about the normal chainsaw. Well... In this case... I mean, outside of situations like this. Whoa! I think for dealing with, like, the, uh, cacos and stuff. Oh, that's too many of them. Also worried about that arch vial. Because, I mean, seriously. But yeah, it's like right there. <laughs> This is basically like a less extreme version of the uh, the gauntlet from Deus Volt. It doesn't like throw you around as much, so that kind of helps. But yeah, in situations like this, it's still not very helpful because it's still not going to overcome like a hitbox for one of those dudes. However, it's basically going to stunlock anything else. In fact, it'd probably be pretty effective against an arch file as long as there's some emergency cover. I mean, I would just throw damage out at those things so quickly that they... I mean, it wouldn't be... I, I don't know if I'd call it stun-locking them. But shit, it might kill them faster than they could actually get an attack off, which, uh... I mean, I'd consider that a victory. Ugh, piss. You know, I would've just went for it if it weren't for the Red Skulls. Those guys, they, I mean, they explode, so... No bueno. 
Uh, there's still a lot of kills left. Man, this is trippy as hell. So this happens if you have a uh, a flat texture and you assign, or sorry, a flat line def. You assign the texture to one side but not the other. It's normally a bug, but uh, it can be used high. Um, it can be used as a feature. To be, to be very clear about that. Oh man, that's a lot of uh, sounds that are being made. <laughs> okay, that was that was my that was quite nice. I like that. And that's looks like creative use of a crusher. So there were revenants. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Wow. I don't even know what to say about that. <laughs> hey! Ooh, 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 I'm a cyber demon. You know, I'm a little curious now. Hold on. There's something I have to try. This is probably going to kill me. Alright, so first of all, I need to minimize distractions. He actually hit him. Holy hell. Okay, so I think you guys might have an idea of what I'm doing. Oh, even better. <laughs> I couldn't get him I couldn't get him to sit still. Hold on. I I, I mean, cyber demons actually have a pretty decent stun chance, so I've gotta I'd be remiss if I Oh you bastard. I'd be remiss if I didn't actually give this like a good attempt. He's being really uncooperative. I gotta, I really gotta get these pinkies out of the way first. Yeah, yeah. Step one: Operation Pinky go bye bye. I mean, the other alternative is to have the uh, the Manx shoot at him, because if the Cyber Demon ends up hugging that wall, I mean, he's not gonna be able to retaliate if I kill him fast enough. Anyway. All right, there we go. Yes, he's not hitting crap right now. See, that's the problem is he's he's got a big enough hitbox where it's kind of a problem. Like he moves around a lot. And uh I'm sure if I can get him either to stay still or if I played this in something like Z Doom where the block map was not a thing. I'm pretty sure it would be very consistent. Wow. I'm glad that worked because that <laughs> game was making that more painful than it really should have been. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and just deal with the Archie first. Wow. I was surprised he wasn't getting hit by those booms. Oh yeah, water hurts me. I forgot about that. Give me those. I do like how that, that little bit of doominess gets kind of flipped on its head. Alright, there we go. Make use of this thing's snipe ability. Perfect. Alright, cool. Wait a minute. I saw something on the other side. Hold up. Oh, right. I'm up here now. So I saw there was something on the other side of the... Yeah, there's an... In Volsner ability. Which looks like you would get to it from up there. So, I do not qualify for this green face? Yeah, green face. So what is going on in here now? Anything fancy? That still seems vaguely inaccessible. Okay, so that's a shortcut now. I like that. Or perhaps just the only... Well, okay. I mean, I can always go this way. And then I'm over here. And then I go back here. Yeah. So, now I'm a little curious about that arch file. Is he gone now? No, he's not. Alright. God, I wish I could just deal with him right now. What is the secret that's behind there? Oh. 
Oh, that's a nice little fill up. I like it. And there's... Huh? So I apparently... Got a view of that, at least. I wonder from where... Hmm. Curious. Is there anything that I would have potentially done up here that might have revealed that to the world? Uh, no! No, it wouldn't be that. No. Oh. <laughs> well, I might as well grab this ammo while I'm here, right? I mean, there's over 100 enemies left to kill, so... Mm, nope, it's too far away. Got some good, uh, good grabs, though. Hmm. Okay. So, what do we got? Um... We got this area, which kind of overlooks this, in a matter of speaking. But there's no way of getting through that window. What else would I do out there? I mean, there was this weird crusher-like thing. That might just be for a, just effect, though. Hmm. There's that. Which is in that hallway. Yeah. Trying to find more secrets before I just move onward, because, yeah. That opens... I heard that opens something. Yeah, that opens up the secret. It just... It doesn't give me a way to get up there, per se. Hmm. Yeah, and that connects over to that area that I was trying to jump to before. Now, what is this? I don't... No. Okay. Ah, you know, let's try... Oh, that's a cool exit door. Anyway, never really looked at the texture in all that much detail. Hmm. So this doesn't... You know, I wonder if I can just ramp off of this and head up there. Let's give this... Save this and then give this a few attempts. I can! All right! <laughs> That's really cool. I like that. Is that something I could jump to? Hold on, let's wait till it goes comes down. I mean, it's just it's kind of a back way to a inviso thing. So, or is that just gone now? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not entirely sure how high the ceiling is. Well, hey, here comes. This one. Yay. Okay, so that is solid. I can't actually go under that. Does this one ever come low enough where I could just jump on it? It kind of seems like it does. Ah, oh, piss. Well. Alright, well that's going to take a minute to <laughs> do anything. So where does this take me now? Oh, up here. Well, thank you for the cellulars. That's kind of nice. And that means I can also go over here and... Okay. Well, this is happening. Hey, it does have the little Nukem thing on the back. <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> Oh, piss. <laughs> Gotta take things seriously now. Damn it. Damn you, Cypac. Needs more infinite rad suit. Because that would be possible to implement with a dehacked patch. I mean, technically, if they knew... <sighs> well. That hurt. Oh, my goodness. I need you all to die, please. Thank you. I also need another rad suit, because I'm going to die pretty quickly when my uh, current one runs out. Okay. Um, screw it. I need to get safety. Safety. 
I make joke. Ho! Oh! Dick. All right. Of course, it couldn't be a ten damage roll. Oh well. Let's um make better use of <laughs> the weapons we have, I guess. Because as cool as that chainsaw is, it's probably not the best thing to use against a uh, tank. Just, just a thought. Yeah, that, that went a little bit faster. We're gonna wait to grab that uh, invisibility, which I'm gonna fudge it. Deal with these guys. Okay. And now we run back here and grab this. Perfect. And kill the red lost souls first. At least pain elementals don't spawn those. I actually don't mind pain elementals all that much because they're, I mean, relatively speaking, they're fairly benign in this one. Just mostly thanks to lost souls having, like, basically zero health. I mean, can they even survive a single... <sighs> Now, of course, they still suck being flying enemies, but, I mean, that's a much lesser crime than what they were accused of before. Yeah, see, I kind of like this, because it's like, these guys are just pests. The Red Lost Souls... Oh, boy. Yeah, we, we don't talk about those guys. Alright. We need to get out of the water here soon. Like, right now. <laughs> See, this goes a lot better when you don't face Rocket. Okay. There we go. <sighs> Alright. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Crap. Hi. <laughs> This'll work. I like dealing with these guys from a distance. Especially those red ones. And here I am trying to switch the pistol, which um, I don't have for some reason. <laughs> Just one of those redundant weapons, what can I say? There we are. Okay, well, I um, think we've reached the end of the line here. I guess just teleport her and uh, then hope we could fill this area with blood because it kind of seems like we're going to have to come back here. You know, when I actually get a key... The key of the yellow variety. Rocket man! Wrecked. I do like this, um, this hunting rifle, though. It's like one of those things... It's one of those, um... It pretty much plays to my favorite part of Doom. Having to pick the appropriate weapon based on your situation. And that was one thing that I think I think it does a lot better than just like the decision between the classic single barrel shotgun, also rad suits, very nice, classic single barrel and uh, double barrel. Because with the single barrel, its use or its practical use cases in Doom Two are vanishingly, well, minimal. <laughs> there's not really a whole lot you can feasibly do with it. Yeah, it also doesn't seem like there's really any reason to actually jump up to that thing, so let's not bother with that. But, um, yeah, this one makes it so that it still uses two shells, so you have a decision between picking a more technically efficient weapon in the super shotgun, because it definitely does more damage. It gives you more bang for the buck. I hate how this guy's still alive. Let me open this again, because I remember that was opening before, but... Yeah, you either pick the weapon that has more bang for the buck, or... But has a wider spread, or one that works better over longer ranges, and technically does less damage per shot. So, I don't know. I like that dynamic. Just feels like a better... Okay. There's gotta be a monster closet, like, in the other end of that or something. Okay. Still not sure what the hell to do about that. Alright, so... Where to next? Because I haven't found any keys yet. Hmm. Okay. 
not seeing really anything here. Because this here just brings you up to this area, which I've already basically taken care of that. And then this is just kind of... It gives you a nice overview of this. It doesn't really do a lot for you beyond that. This just brings you back to the beginning. This area here seems like it's mostly just about grabbing ammo bonuses. And it also appears to connect to that, if I had to guess. So I wonder if, like, oh, oh no. I wonder if the only thing that, or the one thing I have left to do now is uh, basically unlock some shortcuts to various places. Right, so let's go in here. Jump down here. Sneak in here and wait. <laughs> oh, that's oh, okay, that's further away. It's not like a raised cliff though. Oh, so it seems like I have to go in from here to here. Okay, why well, don't get a feeling this is one of those kind of complex chained secrets. Like, you find one and you find, like, three of them if you, uh, play your cards right. I don't know. One other thing I noticed is there's, like, a white line there. I'm just kind of concerned because if, uh... God. Um... I don't know. How did I op How did that door open before? Because I can't get it to open again. Which is a, uh, bit of an issue. Hold up. So now there's that, which I unlocked another line of that. I think I have to figure out how to unlock this. Because, I mean, this line here wasn't there before, and I'm not sure if that was just some sort of uh, auto map bug. Because that sometimes happens where it'll just unlock lines, like, prematurely. Huh. the heck? Is this... He I guess just the teleport destination for... Oh yeah, that's right. When I walked over here, that came down and this guy was there. Alright. I don't... Hmm. I feel like there's something stupid that I'm missing. Hmm. At this side... Gotta be something. It's gotta be something. <laughs> you know? You dig? Duh, these secrets are just. patoibing me. Just doing a little bit of humping, don't mind me. That's how you get demonetized. Ha <laughs> ha! Right. Um. Also, these little side areas. I don't think they really have anything to do with anything. They're, I mean, they're just monster cages. Never a bad thing to double check. All right. Okay. So things are <laughs> things are coming together, kinda. Sounded like it. Hello. <laughs> it's not cooperating. Okay, it's really not cooperating. Let's, uh... There we go. So how did I reveal this? Well, hey, you know what? It's blue armor. That's how I revealed it. Because it's... Okay. It's in view of this arena. Hmm. Hmm. God, those cyber faces are weird. Alright, well, there's one secret down. And that would have been probably more helpful before, but hey, I'll take it. Then there's this, which is probably the one I'm most concerned with. 
How did... I know that opened. At one point, but is that just like a one-time thing? So I think I just came in here, went into like the area with the art file, and it was just open there. I don't know. Little concerned that that might be lost to the ether. There is definitely something right there, though. Because, like, the texture's a little bit misaligned. You can kind of see that right there. That little seam there. And it's also a white line on the auto map, which, um... I don't know. <laughs> Makes me think it might be involved in certain things. Now, let's go ahead and just... Yeah, that's just a one-time thing. I think that just opened this up. These are all lit. Okay. Evil eyes don't seem to do anything in this case. It's gotta look for differences in the wall panels and stuff. And there's that switch there, which, I mean... You can... What? Oh! That was sneaky. <laughs> Go up. Oh, I think I see. Gotta do one of those. And, uh... Better save this, because... There we go. Okay, that just lowers that. Then we've got this. Yeah, see, there we go. Two secrets for the price of one. One invisible. Sorry, two invisible. Invisible. Three of them. They die so quickly. <laughs> they pretty much are just like the uh, the ones from Valiant. Eh. Sorry, let's change positions a little bit. Right, so I can't really do anything with that tech pillar there. I also don't have the yellow key still. <laughs> Which, um, kind of looks like I cleared a room more or less in advance. Right, so are there any other secrets in this section that I might need to clear out? Kind of thinking, no? There's also this, I don't think I walked in here. Maybe that's where the yellow key is. Teehee. And there's also that. Well, let's go here. Back here. Over here. Okay, so these do come back down. That's, that's one of the reasons I saved. I was a little concerned about that. Me? Concerned? Never. No. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's raised, but I can jump to it. Yes, yeah, so this is probably where the yellow key is. If I had to guess. That little ominous drop into <laughs> oblivion, basically. Alright, here we go. Well, this looks promising. <laughs> okay. Give me a lot of cells here, Cypac. Cool. Okay. Hello. Bro. Yeah, I should have taken a bit, bit more cover. This seems to be... Okay. There's a yellow door there. That might be excessive. Let's switch to this. Bah! Now what about this other one? Oh hell. Oh hell. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get these guys to, uh, interact, shall we? <laughs> I don't mind dealing with small groups of these guys when I have 30 health. Okay, that should have triggered something. Or maybe these, uh, revs are just being dicks? I mean, they are being dicks, that goes without saying, but... The revenants, I mean... <laughs> There we go. I'm having a hard time getting, like, anything to line up right. You see what I mean about this chainsaw? Like, when I was just dealing with, um... There we go. That should deal with that guy. 
Bro, what are you doing? There we go. <laughs> he was just trying to figure things out, you know? Right? Oh. I see. Good shot at the wall. At least I made sure my weapon was functioning correctly, I guess. Nope, not that one. Not that one. It's the one with the light in front of it. Okay. The candle. So I'm guessing that probably... Oh, hello, yellow key. Guessing that probably does something in here. Yeah! And out we go. I guess. <laughs> Just in case you didn't realize that this was, in fact, a yellow key room. It becomes very clear if you just look beyond the... Yeah, whatever. Anyway. Oh, so we're here now. Um, you know what? If I humped that a little bit, I could have I could have collected that. Oh, well. Hey, this looks familiar. Really? Dicks. That was close, though. And that's open for business. What? Oh, God. I'm just like blindly shooting at this point. Like, what do you even do about this? God. Bro, really? <laughs> What the hell is this? And these guys are weak as hell. Oh, you fucker. Alright. God, that was close. I actually tensed up. <laughs> okay, well, these guys can resurrect. And they can resurrect each other. Good. That's good. Okay. Well, there's more of them alive. That's that's good. Thank you. Kind of feel like I'm in about as good of a position as I can be in right now. <laughs> Weirdly enough. <sighs> I don't know how much health these guys have, but they can't have much more than, like, a former human, so... Really cool ambush. I like this one. <laughs> oh, nope. It's not completely quiet. Alright, so... Not sure wh who is living. God, that was pretty intense, I gotta say. Whew. This is, like, kind of a Cypex specialty right there. It's just making it so that... Uh, even in vanilla. Oh, there's... Okay, I get it now. And hey, he's gone. But even in vanilla, making it so that you... Uh, you walk over here. And then when you walk back, that's when shit goes down. You also did it in uh, Threes of Crowd in a couple areas. Notably map one. It's very nice. I have a feeling it has to do with manipulating control sectors. But uh, I haven't looked at the map. Like, at all. <laughs> in this case. So what opens up there? Is it something that I could perhaps... Okay, I don't hear anything moving. Don't hear anything moving. Just trying to repress that switch. Repe <laughs> repress the switch. Oh, why'd I fire? Alright, well... Hmm. What am I doing? All right, <laughs> over here. Across the way. Back here. We have the yellow key. So what did that do for us exactly? Oh yeah, that's right. It, it opened up the uh, little exit over here. That's very blue. You know, at this point I'm kind of thinking that might be just a stuck lost soul. One that just got spit out through the level boundaries. I don't remember if I killed a pain elemental out there, but 
I'm thinking I probably did. All right, we got one more secret before we go into the land of the blue. All right, and four kills. Found one. Whoa, what? Go away. That's one unfortunate, well, fortunate slash unfortunate thing. Sometimes the uh, double barrel shotgun you end up with isn't always the one that you truly want, but oh well. Still wondering about that stupid thing. Now, are there any pink sectors? I mean, there is that little thing there. That's the exit. Wait, no, that's just the teleporter that led to places. All right, so I'm not seeing anything that stands out at the moment outside of this passage here. Pressing that just gives the oomph. The oomph. Now, um, let's just make our way over, yeah, down here. Okay, this doesn't hurt me, that's good. Gives me a little bit of room for experimentation. That's it, right there. Yep, there we are. Awesome, we did it! <laughs> All right, that was pretty straightforward. That would have been handy, but not really that necessary. This actually was a um, relatively chill map. <laughs> relatively. This is definitely harder than um, Three's a Crowd has been. And I think, like, the only death I had was mostly just due to my own derpiness. So, in we go. Cutting edge. And this is map five, so no intermission yet. That's, uh, no, this is map six. We do have an intermission. Woo, all right. I wonder what's, uh, what our inner monologue is going to be. Rocket harder. I, I, would like, I already like the way that's starting. All right. We've also got, let's see, this is map seven. We've got five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep. Eleven total maps. We're going to be going on map seven next week. Forget your stupid boss. The Dukes of Detonation. Okay. Dukes of Detonation peak doom right there are your real friends they're the ones equipping demonic denizens with new death dealing devices unfortunately they're unlikely to be impressed with your current form if you want to borrow one of their shiny new toys it might take some convincing dukes of demolition or detonation dukes of detonation <laughs> that's amazing <laughs> all right well things have definitely been heating up and i love the fact that uh like, I was sure by this point that we'd seen the entire new bestiary, but apparently not. <laughs> Got inviso vials to deal with, but, um, yeah, you know, just, it definitely keeps things interesting, especially when they can resurrect themselves or their friends. At least they don't have much health, but, um, yeah, damn good map. A lot of fun. Like I said, definitely a step back in terms of difficulty, but, you know, you kind of need those little ebbs and flows. That's for sure. But, uh, yeah, that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.